Court will come to order. Please rise for the invocation. Commissioner Kirkendall. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for this Advent season we're in, Lord, as we celebrate the birth of Christ. Lord, we pray for wisdom today, Lord, as we handle county government business, Lord. We pray over our schools, Lord, over all of our students today. And Lord, we do just pray that your uh, hand of wisdom and guidance would be upon us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Okay, item number four, approval of minutes of prior meetings that been a special meeting on uh, November the 25th and a, a regular meeting on also on uh, November the 25th. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Item number five, Sharon Overstreet Treasure. Presentation approval of cash statement. Our cash balance is, <coughs> excuse me, as of today, December the 9th, 2013. <coughs> Our general checking account, we have $668,262.87. Our text pool investment account, we have $3,626,265.84. Total monies of $4,294,528.71. Our text pool rate is 0.0369%. <coughs> Do you have any idea about how the money's coming in? From it's starting to flow in. Surely starting to send it through. Sure is. We'll be picking up from now on. <laughs> All right, good. I'm I'm the the Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Item number six, here in Overstreet, presentation and approval of registered claims to be counseled by court. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Item number seven, Lawrence Partham Auditor, payment of county bills. Now, Lawrence, do it this way. <laughs> we had pre approved expenditures on November the 26th for $31,503.24. Pre approved expenditures on December the 3rd for $15,698.49. Uh, pre approved expenditures on from 1125 to 129, uh, 394,735.95. Today's commissioner's court of, of expenditures is 134,689.45 with an overall total of 576,627.13. We had one payroll from last court to this court and the gross payroll was 410,360.80. The uh, taxes were twenty nine thousand five hundred one seventy five for payroll. The retirement was fifty two thousand six eighty eight forty eight, with a total transfer payroll of four hundred ninety two thousand five fifty one oh three. I move to approve payment of county bill. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Item number eight: acceptance of commissioner's annual road report. I've been waiting for this one a long time. <laughs> you gonna read all those, Judge? Yeah, I promise you I'll read those this <laughs> afternoon. Okay. okay. We have a motion to the so moved. Second. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Item number nine, Commissioner Kirkendall, permission to rescind previous request to purchase two new motor graders through cooperative purchasing program with financing and trade-in of two old motor graders. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries. Item number 10, Commissioner Kirkendall, permission to purchase tractor and boom more with cooperative purchasing program and financing of the same. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, all opposed? Motion carries. Item number 11, Commissioner Kirkendall. Permission to purchase dump truck and ch uh, chassis with a cooperative purchasing program and financing the same. So Second. Moved. 
All in favor say aye. aye. Uh, all opposed? Motion carried. Jackie Ellis purchasing permission to purchase a 15 passenger van for juvenile probation with a cooperative purchasing program and financing the same. So moved. Okay. Second. Thank you. Judge, would you like to explain the purchase? Okay. Why don't you explain it for the record? Uh, <laughs> I come prepared. <laughs> What we're doing is we bought in 08, we bought a 14 passenger bus for our JJP school. That has served its purpose. Uh, we're now running into some fuel issues, uh, getting probably seven, eight miles per gallon on that bus. Uh, the capacity is not needed anymore uh, due to some changes in the education law. The school is gonna be running at um, a, a less capacity than it has been in the past. A uh, 15 passenger van would help. Uh, the funding for the van to purchase the van will be actually used from our own state funding, no, uh, no general funding. Um, and it's on a lease to uh, own purchase. So and they, with the understanding that if the state money does go away, then the lease is, is then uh, ended uh, with no penalty. So no money out of the county's pocket. Okay, and what happens to the... Now, the, the bus was purchased in 08 with the, uh, the county purchased the bus uh, with the understanding that it could be used in any event, type of a hurricane, type of evacuation or anything like that. Uh, the bus is, is really at the uh, mercy of the, the, you guys, whatever y'all decide, um, as far as either selling it, keeping it, uh, provide, putting maintenance, keeping maintenance up on it, um, place to park it, actually, keep it. Uh, that's totally a, a whatever you guys decide. Um, we can certainly help in any way we can as far as the, uh, right now, there is about, from what I told, about $1,000 worth of maintenance that needs to be done on it, uh, which, uh, you know, that was under our watch, so we would be more than happy to, to make that, to fix that if the county just did decide they wanted to keep the bus. You'd fix it with your money? A absolutely. Why don't y'all fix it up so we can sell it? We can do that. Okay. Or we can sell it as is. Okay. Or Why don't use it in another department. Y'all don't need it, do you? We do not need it once okay. we get the van. Yeah. Okay. Why don't purchasing? Why don't y'all explore the alternatives and see the cost and what possibly we can get out of it, and come back to court next time with a recommendation? Yeah. Uh, we would certainly prefer, on the record, to sell as is. If we need to fix it, then no problem at all. Whatever you, whatever y'all decide. Since the county purchased it, and you'd be fixing it with grant money, right? Yes, sir. I'd suggest that you, I mean, that's my thoughts, you fix okay. it. We gave you a good bus, and you give us a good one back. Wonderful bus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got a motion and, and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Item number 13, Jackie Ellis, awarding a bid for sale of uh, salvage lawn <clears throat> equipment, refrigerators, air conditioners, toilets, chairs, desks, Tables, tanks, metal shipping, lights, posted metal pieces, uh, generator, metal roller, inserts, vacuum cleaners, and boat. <laughs> I bet that boat went good. <laughs> no good on the boat. <laughs> uh, we opened bids on December the 5th at 4 o'clock, and they are as follows. Lot A was toilets, Kendall Tyler for $25. Lot B, lawn equipment, Kendall Tyler for $25. Lot C was mowers, pressure washer, tank, and vacuums. Kendall Tyler bid $5. Bradley Gill bid $75. Brandon Graham bid $50. Angel Moore was $20, so it went to Bradley Gill for $75. Lot D was metal shelving and table. Whitney Del Rego, $10. John Arsenault, $26.11. Kendall Tyler, $10. Brandon Graham, $20. Lot E was metal scraps and PVC. Marcus Gilder, $75. Kendall Tyler, $100. Billy Pollan, $50. Lot F was refrigerators, air conditioners, etc. Kendall Tyler, $100. Billy Pollan, $75. Brandon Graham, $50. DeMarcus Gilder, $126. Whitney Jill Rego, $10. Lot G was boat, no bid. Lot H was metal desks, Billy Poland, $5, Kendall Tyler, $20, Whitney Del Rego, $7. Lot I is the wooden desk, there was no bid on those. Lot J, chairs, no bid. Lot K, tables, no bid. And Lot L, 
were some light fixtures, and that was Kendall Tyler for $15. We'd also like to ask permission to dispose of the items that we received no bid on. Y'all give us permission to do that. We reward the bid to the high bidder in each case and where there's no bid and allow a person to dispose of them. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Item number 14, discussion action to apply for TxDOT County Transportation Infrastructure Fund Grant. Your Honor, we, we were notified uh, by Allison Bass that the county could be eligible for some monies, total $738,775. And today I would ask the pleasure of the court that uh, we authorize the retention of Allison and Bass and Associates to help us pursue this. And we also authorize the publication of a notice of public hearing in a newspaper of general circulation within the county to advertise a public meeting to be held on the topic of the possible creation of one or more certs and a schedule for a regular or special meeting of the commissioner's court as the first item of business, conduct a public hearing to receive public comment on the formation of one or more certs. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> okay. Motion carries. The only problem is that putting it in a paper and all this kind of stuff and setting up the next hearing, we won't be able to do that without a motion here today to do that, uh, I wouldn't think. Okay. Um, and I'll need time to, to check on it. So. Okay. So. Uh, can they go ahead and publish it, Judge? Is that what you're saying? Well, that's what I'm trying to, to get at is that, that, that we, your motion is close to it, but I don't know that it's it's, it's right on target with the, the the date. Do we have to name a date for the next hearing and all that? Because in that publication, you got to have a hearing. Have a date, date to go. Um, Did we set a date? latest date for notice of public hearing that we can do is December the 30th according to the guidelines that we're working on. Can we do the hearing at our next regular meeting? 23rd. Yeah. Okay. Saturday at uh... Or you amend your motion to, uh, to that. Yes. I, I would like to amend my motion to authorize a publication of a public hearing to be held on December the 23rd at 930. Yes. 930 a.m. And also to publish it in the newspaper. In my second. Okay. We've got a motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, all opposed? Motion carries. Okay. 911, Carl. Y'all, you're not on the agenda, but uh, you got any words of wisdom to that? Just, just look over those books and Okay. The commissioner is going to get back to you on an individual basis? Yes. And we appreciate appreciate all your hard work and uh, commitment to providing this material for us that comes in handy. I keep one in my truck at all times. His hard work. Well, their hard work. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is his 17th year, I believe, for this. That's great. It's been a great help to us. Yeah, it's appreciate it. Since uh, we started those covers, those uh, covers about six years ago. Well, I guess the 150th anniversary. Yeah. Well, the first one's pretty plain, but we yeah. appreciate the color y'all put into it. <laughs> we have a motion to adjourn. So, so move. Second. Second. We stand adjourned. Mm -hmm. I was glad. I, I Bobby and then another. I, I was glad. I'd rather. All right. <laughs> I'll get with you tomorrow. Okay. 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 Ok